So today I'm going to share a tale. Um, it's, it's one that's been told many times over the years. Uh, I believe it's an old Native American tale, and it's a tale of Jumping Mouse. The story of a mouse who, she started out just in a little mouse village, but as you'll see as the story goes on, she ventured out, and eventually, well, you'll just have to listen along, but maybe she ends up seeing more than she could have ever imagined that a mouse could ever see. So there was a mouse, and this mouse lived in the mouse village with all the other mice. And in the mouse village was very small, and they all stayed in that area there. But there was this one little mouse, this little mouse said, I want to know what else is going on in the world. And, and so the little mouse went and they talked to the other mice, and, and the other mice said, no, 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 no. You know, you should be happy where you are here just at the little mouse village. Because you don't want to stray from the mouse village, you go outside the mouse village and there's dangers out there. There are eagles and other things that might eat little mice like you. But this little mouse wasn't satisfied with that. This little mouse wanted to see the larger, the bigger world. And so one day, the little mouse kind of crept out of the mouse village and headed out, headed out a long way. And then this mouse came to something that she had never seen before. It was a big river but she'd never seen that all she saw was this water and it went as far as her eyes could see really from where she was and while she was looking at this water thinking wow it's like unlike anything I've ever seen before she heard a voice and the voice said this the voice said mouse what's that mouse and she looked around and there she saw by the water a frog and this is no ordinary frog. This is a magic frog. And this frog asked the mouse what she was doing. And she said, well, well I, I, I'm just trying to see what more there is in this world. And, and, and the frog said, mouse, I want you to jump as high as you can in the air and tell me what you see. So she did. She kind of hunkered way down. Way down, way down, way down. And she jumped as high as she could see. She got to the top of her jump and she looked at way Way out there, she saw these mountains. Now, she didn't know what to call them because she hadn't really seen mountains before, but that's what they were. And they had snow on top, they were white. And she came back down and, and when she landed, she told the frog what she'd seen. And, and he said, yes, mouse, those are the spirit mountains and that is where you must go. So you must go down low and you must jump again as high as you can. And so she did. She went down, she crouched down, she crouched down, she crouched down. And she leapt up as high as she could. And when she landed, she let it splash in the water. And she grabbed onto a log that was in the water. And she pulled herself on top of this log, started to float across the river. And she said, you tricked me, you tricked me, you made me go in the water. And the frog said, now mouse, calm down. You're going as you should. That is your way. And so the mouse, she rode that, that log across the river. And she got to the other side and she, she waved goodbye to the frog. And she started walking across an area that was very wide and flat. It was a great big open prairie. And as she walked across the prairie, she had to be very, very aware. And as she was walking along, a shadow kind of went over the top of her and she looked up and it was an eagle. And she knew that the eagle might, might eat her, so she looked for some place to hide and she scurried around. She looked and she saw a rock over here and, and it, was a, it was a big rock, so she hid up against this big brown rock and she kind of huddled there until the eagle was gone. But you know, when she was up against that rock, she put her hands along it and it was soft, unlike any rock she'd seen before. So she worked her way along the rock and there was an eye on the rock and, and then I opened and looked at her and, and, and she jumped back and she realized that, that, that she, she, she wasn't against a rock but she was up against a big animal and it was unlike any animal she had ever seen before. And, and this animal kind of slowly stood up so Jumping Mouse, she, she looked around. Is there some place to hide? And the trees, they were way over there. So she has to face this, this amazing big creature. And, and the animal identified itself as a bison, something people also call the buffalo. 
and 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 she said, "What are you?" And and the animal said, "Well, I, I'm I'm a buffalo, a bison, but 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 I'm I'm very sick, and and I have been told that the the only thing that could save me now is the eye of a mouse." This little mouse, this little jumping mouse, as she was called now, she, she, she got up her, you know, all of her courage because she looked at this magnificent animal and thought, I'm a mouse. If I, if I, if I could help this magnificent animal to get better, I, I could, I could, I could give it one of my eyes. So, so she summoned up her courage and she said, well, 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 well buffalo, I, I'm a mouse, and if it'll make you feel better, you can have one of my eyes. And no sooner were those words spoken, but whew, out of her head, one of the eyes went into the buffalo, and the buffalo went like, <sighs> was well again. And, and little jumping mouse, she was like, oh no, oh no, she, oh, oh, oh. The, the, that big animal might hurt me, but the, but the, but the buffalo said, oh. You, you have done me a great favor. Tell me, where are you going? And, and I will help you in any way I can. Well, Jumping Mouse, she talked about how she was going to the Spirit Mountains, but she was worried about the eagles. And the buffalo said, just, just walk underneath me as I walk through these plains and prairies. And, and the eagles flying over, well, they'll only see the back of a buffalo and you'll be quite safe. And so it was that they walked along together and they had many wonderful conversations and they worked their way along the plains until they got into the foothills of those mountains and the buffalo could no longer continue. And so they had a, they had a, a nice departure. They said kind words to each other and Jumping Mouse went off alone up into those foothills until she came across another animal. And this animal was a scary one to Jumping Mouse because she'd heard of these. This was a wolf. And, and it was sort of hunkered down in front of her. And she looked closely at that wolf and, and that wolf did not look well at all. So she crept up closer and closer to it and, 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 and she gently poked it and said, Wolf? And the wolf said, Wolf, wolf, that's what I am. I, 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 yeah, I'm a, I'm a wolf. I'm a wolf. I'm a. Yeah. <sighs> wolf? Yeah, yeah, that's what I am. Oh, this wolf was very sick. Well, well jumping mouse, she, she took pity on this wolf, and she said, she said to the wolf, she said, wolf, you are very sick, and, and, and perhaps. I learned this from the buffalo that that an eye of a mouse might be able to save you, and I'm a mouse, and 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 if if it will make you better, you could have one of my eyes. And no sooner were those words spoken than whew, out went Jumping Mouse's other eye. But now, now, now she she didn't have any eyes, and she knew that wolf was getting better, and, and she kind of quivered there because she realized that maybe she'd made a big mistake because that wolf was going to get well, and the wolf was probably going to eat her. And, and she, she's there, but but. The wolf did not do that. The wolf looked and saw this quivering little mouse and said, you have done me a great service, a wonderful thing. You've made me well with your eyes. What can I do for you? And Jumping Mouse said, well, I'm trying to go to the Spirit Mountains. And, and she talked all about how she was to go there and how the frog had sent her in that direction. So, so Wolf said, I can lead you there. And Jumping Mouse said, but, but I, I cannot see. How, how can I possibly get there? And the wolf said, hold on to my tail. And as I work my way up to the, up to the mountains, you can hang on to my tail. And so it was. Jumping Mouse grabbed onto the tail of the wolf, and up she went. Oh, and it was just marvelous. She couldn't see anymore, but she could feel. She could feel the wind on her cheeks. Oh, it was delightful, and she could feel the sun on her face as she went up. Oh, it was a wonderful, wonderful ride on the tail of that magnificent wolf as they went higher and higher up into the Spirit Mountains. And then they got to the edge of what was the Spirit Lake. And the wolf said, Jumping Mouse, I can take you no further, but the Spirit Lake is just in front of you up here. And, and if you go slowly up in that direction, you will find what you're looking for at the Spirit Lake. And so, at 
the shore of the Spirit Lake, Jumping Mouse, not able to see, crept closer and closer and closer. And as she was creeping closer, she could feel the sun on her back and the breeze. Oh, it was just wonderful as she got closer and closer to the Spirit Lake. And she, she, she got to the shore of it and she put her, her little paws in the water and splashed them on her. Oh, it was just delightful. And when she was doing that, she noticed, oh, there's a cloud covering up the sun. I could tell the difference between that. Oh, this is so wonderful. But it wasn't a cloud. It was an eagle. And his jumping mouse was there at, at the side of that, of that lake. That eagle swooped down and grabbed her and ate her. But it wasn't, it wasn't what you might think it would have been. And it wasn't at all what, what Jumping Mouse might have thought it would be because it was like this beautiful, wonderful dream. And, and when she woke up from this dream, she opened up her eyes and what she could see was amazing. She could look down below her and she could see the mountains below her and the Spirit Lake down below. And as she soared to the sky, she could see that big river where the, where the, where the magic frog had been. And she could see way off in the distance the little mouse village where she had come from. And as she was soaring and looking at all these beautiful things, she heard a voice from down by the river. And it was a voice of that magic frog and the magic frog called up to her and said jumping mouse you now have a new name and your name is eagle and so it was the jumping mouse the little mouse who had wanted to see more of this world had gone out and ventured out and taken that chance and she went out into the world and she went to the spirit lake and then she became the one who saw more than anyone else. She became that great eagle. And that is the story of Jumping Mouse.